Hey, Pangapsunida. Well, after four and a half years in Korea, the time has finally come to say goodbye. But I'm very excited about this big disruptive change, and the timing is definitely right. I find that I've lost the enjoyment of the whole element of being in Korea. Uh, there are days that can go by where I'm completely oblivious to my surroundings, and I think that that was the evidence that it was time to move on. Maybe a year or two ago, it was a little too soon. It felt like it was a little too soon, but now the timing is definitely right. School is on break right now, so that leaves me a lot of time to reflect. And it amazes me sometimes to realize how my life did a 180 the way that it did. I'm always really grateful, even more so today than, than early on, that I made that decision and I took that giant leap. I look back at my life sometimes and I realize how much it's changed. Uh, I've changed so much and along the way I've worked really hard at trying to make that change permanent. It really seems like just yesterday when in 2010 I was still trying to figure out how to make my first few video blogs, my vlogs, on my phone at the time. No clue as to what I was doing but I continued to share and create my own diaries on this channel and it's just so rewarding to see how things have turned out as I look back. Now I have teaching experience and credentials, this YouTube channel and a blog that I have big plans for. I feel fortunate to have crossed paths with so many lives, even if it was only virtually. I'm going to be going to a new country uh, to teach at a school that I would not have thought possible two or three years ago before I became licensed. But I guess that's what persistence is all about. Those little bits of effort over time really do add up to a lot when you really need it. I'm not going to say where I'm going in this video. This video is really just goodbye Korea. But once I get there, I'm going to be sure to make a video to share with all of you uh, what my life is about. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see what this next chapter of my life is going to turn out to be like. Living abroad feels much more common to me now than when I first left for Korea. Uh, I've traveled to different cities and different countries. I've been teaching for four and a half years. That initial rush of newness uh, when, I, when you first travel is not going to be the same. But other things will be new, like my new job. Uh, this new teaching role that I have is going to be a big step up for me. And I'm really looking forward to that challenge or kind of that fear of wanting to be able to succeed uh, in my new role. You know, for what it's worth, I just want to remind everybody out there that I'm just a guy with a camera. Um, it's a nice camera now. Uh, it wasn't always that way. I decided to make this big shift in my life and then share it on YouTube for some reason. And through it all, many of you stepped up and were very encouraging to me. You gave me ideas and ultimately became a very, very big part of my daily life as I live and I teach abroad. And I really appreciate that immensely. In addition to Goodbye Korea, I also just want to say thank you to all of you who supported me and turned out to be great friends. And that goes for uh, all you Korea enthusiasts like myself, uh, travel people, and of course my fellow Mad Rats. So that's it for now. I'm going to sign off here. Goodbye Korea, but I'm going to see all of you again really soon. Peace.